What's up, y'all? So inside a 40, 40 million New York City penthouse with amazing city views. We about to tap into this. You dig what I'm saying? Um, If he don't copyright, we're going to get into a lot of these because I love these. Okay? House tours and shit. Let's get into a manifestation. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you league. This is New York City, all right? Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. It is at the top of the screen, Royalties World CEO. That's where you will see me live stream these videos. Um, uh, yeah. I already read the title. Let's get into it. What's up everybody, it's Anes here. Welcome to another episode. This week, we're in the Tribeca neighborhood of New York City and about to tour this meticulously remodeled 78th floor penthouse right in front of me with these amazing views of the city. Now, stats on this penthouse, we got five bedrooms, five full baths, two half baths, approximately 6,127 square feet of interior space. And this property is currently marketed as an off-market listing for $40 million. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we start our tour, I want to thank the listing agent, Leonard Steinberg, and his team for allowing us to tour another one of their amazing listings. Now, let's begin. Here we are at the entry. This penthouse is located in the Four Seasons private residences at 30 Park Place. This building was also developed by the legendary Larry Silverstein. It's a fully serviced building with incredible amenities and we're gonna talk more about the building later in the video. Also, like we mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is a 78th floor penthouse that has been meticulously remodeled with incredible finishes. And it starts off right here with the entry gallery. We have beautiful wood paneled walls, terrazzo floors, and as soon as we walk in, we're hit head on with the incredible views of the city. We have two French doors bringing ton of natural light in, and this is where we have the living room. On this side, we have the gas fireplace with this curved marble wall that runs up all the way to the ceiling. I really like that they have the steel case glass design on each side of the fireplace, allowing natural light to travel through the apartment. And I really like these French doors with side lights and transom windows above. Also, we have this incredible outdoor space Let's go check it out. $40 million. That's a lot of money. As soon as you walk out, you see the Manhattan skyline. Views from this penthouse are oh simply God. amazing. I mean, from New Jersey to Hudson River, the entire city, all the way to East River to Brooklyn, you see it all. And it's incredible to have an outdoor space at 78th floor. Now, on that side, we have an outdoor seating area with a little bit of a dining setup. Right here, we have more additional outdoor seating. Mm. Also, we have this glass railing that wraps around the perimeter of this terrace, which in return blocks the wind, makes this space more enjoyable, and gives it an extra safety feature. Overall, it's amazing to have an outdoor space on 78th floor with these amazing views. We also have- You gotta go outside and think about all this money you're spending, because I can just only imagine at $40 million. I'm on top of the world. Damn. I have two story heights here. Juliet balcony right in the center from the media room. We're gonna show that in a bit. And this building has an iconic look on the exterior with this limestone facade. We can get a close up from here. Now let's go back inside. Now we're back at the living room. What you mean how your groceries getting up there? It's an elevator. But the building has full access to concierge somebody taking them groceries up there for you 
But baby, if I'm making forty million dollars, oh uh, excuse me, if I can spend forty million dollars on a, a house, a apartment, or whatever, I got chefs anyway. I ain't buying. I don't get groceries. That's what my chef do. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have that mindset, friend. Your area overall, it's an amazing space. This is the second French door that opens up to the terrace, and we have these steel cased barn doors that opens up to this secondary seating area. Mm -hmm. It's both great for seating and dining. We have a beautiful chandelier above and north and west facing views that are simply amazing from this room. Also, we have automatic shades throughout the entire place, as you guys can see. Now let's continue our tour. We have secondary barn doors opening up to the office space, but in case you need that extra bit of privacy, we also have these pocket doors sealing off the space. Now let's go toward the office. Same wood paneling that we saw at the entry is also brought in here with these bookshelves on each side, a bit of a seating a area. This is where we have the desk set up. And I mean, the views from this office are simply amazing. Right on this side, on the west side, we can see the One World Trade Center. And if you get to the edge of this window, you can actually see all the way to the Statue of Liberty. Overall, amazing office. And I mean, we toured a lot of incredible offices on this channel. And if I had to choose one, I would definitely go with this one because mm. these views are simply inspiring. Now, there's actually a hallway here. I wanna mention it, I'll show it from the other side. TV set up on this side, and this secondary door opens up to a little hallway where we have a small fridge set up. And as we continue, this is where we have the powder room, both for the living areas and the office. I really like this textured stone design that they have on the walls with these reveal details at the bottom and at the top, co-sealing lighting, and I really like the LED lighting also behind this floating mirror design as well. Fabricated stone vanity design, overall gorgeous bathroom oh, that complements the space. What? Now, let's go back to the hallway. I showed that first door in the office. Well, it opens up right here to this hallway. Now, let's continue our tour. Yeah. If a, if a fire broke out in that building, I'm sure they got a hundred thousand water, uh, spigot thingies. That's going to go off. That's going to put that fire out. Y'all. <laughs> this hallway continues. We have a coat closet here <laughs> and we are back at the entry of this penthouse. Now let's go to the other side. Let me show it from this side. Another set of steel case doors yeah, opening up to this side of the unit where we have the staircase going up to the second floor and the grand dining area. We get a ton of natural light coming in. Same terrazzo floors are also here, complemented with the warmth of these wood panels. Mikey, let's get a close up. I want to show this detail. This penthouse actually has its own elevator that goes up to the second floor. There you go, which is amazing. Yeah. In. Right behind us, we have the staircase design. First off, I really like that they also did the glass, uh, steel case glass paneling also here, allowing Appreciate natural light to travel. Martinique. On this channel, we also see a lot of floating steel staircase designs, but this one stands out. First off, it kind of has an industrial touch. I really like that it's an open riser with the curvature on the threads. It's just something different. And I really like how this glass railing kind of complements with the industrial looks. Yeah, I really like how that's uh, wrapped in leather also. Kind of gives you a little bit of grip and uh, kind of warms the railing too when it's cold. Yeah, I agree. I really like that detail as well. And Mikey, let's show this. Look at that window frame right there. And as you come up or go down from the second floor, you see the entire city, which is amazing. Yeah, there's a lot of great views in here, but that is one of the best frames that we see in the entire house. I feel like every single room we walk in, we're going to talk about the views. Yeah. It's, it's hard not to. Now let's cover the dining area. We have a beautiful chandelier above that looks like a sculpture wood slab table that says six people. I love how minimalist the furniture in this apartment is. And of course we get the north views from here. And Mikey, let's get a close up. You can actually see the Woolworth building from here as well, East River. I mean, even from your dining area, you get incredible Damn, views. That makes New York look good, but when you're down at the bottom, it just... <laughs> yeah, it's really, really face. nice. I know these views are just simply incredible. Now let's continue our tour. We have this pivot door right here. Mikey, let's get a close up. With this metal finish and these glass inserts. I mean, this door is definitely, definitely heavy. 
All right, now more views. We have these built-in glass sections right here. Let me show you guys these glass railings. And I really like the texture on the glass doors as well. More built-ins, a little bit of a countertop space here. Did you know some deodorants? It's a beautiful ass place. When you download there at the bottom. Have the kitchen and the informal dining area. This kitchen is simply stunning. I love the natural stone countertops, stone all the millwork. Let's start with the island setup. Of course, we have the natural stone countertops, perfectly book matched with the waterfall edge here. Island seating on both sides. And the island setup kind of continues right behind me. We have the pantry right here, opening up. Yes, pantry. And as we continue, this is where we have the main sink, dishwasher on this side, beautiful countertops, same countertops, also has a backsplash. Mikey, we gotta show this detail. Let's get a close up right here. Not only we have the entire plugs in this house, outlets recessed in, they are also book matched to the countertops. That's simply amazing. Talking about attention to detail, right? About, that's a lot of money. And we have this beautiful millwork. Another detail that we kind of don't see quite often, these exposed hinges as well, that gives a lot of character. And the glass cabinetry we saw earlier. Yeah. They use it as uppers over here. With the they have people on the outside of the buildings that clean them windows. LED lighting as well. Continuing that here, Gagana appliances. We have the I ain't gonna have that job. Ovens here, your wine fridge. They probably get paid a whole And it actually money. opens up the hallway here. We're gonna talk about that later. As we continue, more cabinetry, gas cooktop, your oven setup below. And we have the commercial vent above, same natural stone countertops, That's also it. used as a back. Them marble countertops, everything. Splash with the shelf design here. <laughs> Again, like I mentioned earlier, I love those exposed hinge designs. We can get a closer look at the cabinetry from here. Yeah, I gotta say, coming from LA, like I thought that we kind of knew what really good taste in homes and kitchen wa kitchens were, but like uh, we've seen some incredible kitchens while we're here and this has to be like one of the best we've ever seen. This stone is really, really cool. Uh, I thought we had seen it all, but this is like totally new. It's a different level. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing how they finished out this unit. Every detail is so thought out. Everything is finished perfectly. I'm just as impressed as you are with this kitchen and the finishes in this penthouse. All right, let's continue our tour. We have the panel fridge and freezer set up here. I mean, take a look at the cabinetry here, Mikey. Is that like a pantry kind of, like an extra pantry? Yeah. Oh, but I mean, great. it's amazing how well they utilize every bit of space, right? And secondary sink here, let's not forget. Secondary dishwasher. Your island setup continues. I mean, I must say, I love this. It'd be them having two dishwashers for me. Natural stone that they use. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck At this point, 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 let's give credit to the interior designer of this penthouse, Monique Gibson. I think she did a phenomenal job with the remodel, her finishes, you know, selection with the stone cabinetry. Everything looks uh, gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's really incredible. And uh, so interior designers typically choose uh, finishes like stones, marbles, that kind of thing. Lay out everything. Yeah, she did a fantastic job. She did a fantastic job. Also, I'm just realizing, Mikey, let's get a a close up on that chandelier. Looks gorgeous, that light fixture. Yeah, I really like that. That's all right. Now, the entire that. penthouse gets incredible views of- Do you like that black and white? I don't care for that too much. Of course, I this side it. of the penthouse, we I get the it. East River. I mean, and then you look at the, um, the uh, couch and you know, the pillows. It did, it did what it was supposed to do to me. Woolworth building, one Manhattan Square, Brooklyn. I mean, it's amazing. And on this side, we have the built-in yes. seating running along the wall. Dining table here. Let's get a close up on this light fixture. Again, another unique detail. Yeah, I saw that earlier. I really, really like that. The and this whole seating area, like, I would just love to sit down here on a snowy day like this and just relax and read a book with that like insane cliff on your on your right, you know? I know, I know. Just enjoy these incredible views. Yeah. Also, while I was walking here to show this, I realized another detail. Mikey, let's get a close up. Look how they beautifully recessed in the outlet oh, that's and perfect. even the grains are matching. That's, that's crazy amazing. on that outlet. Yeah, I don't that's want to amazing. think about how they do that. We have the TV set up on this side. Let's follow this hallway. Right here, we get a powder room with the same terrazzo floors. And I really like how they run Ooh, the floors yes. all the way to the walls with this steel frame and this floating mirror design. And they use the same steel to create the leg design for this stone vanity overall gorgeous powder room. Continuing our tour, we are in the laundry room. 
stacked washer and dryer on this side, a lot of cabinetry. We get the sink right here on this side and this door opens up to the service access, staircase, all that good stuff. Lastly, as we go this way, this is where we have a secondary hallway with a lot of built-ins. And this is where we can actually see the access to the kitchen as well, like I mentioned earlier. And continuing our tour, we're back at the landing of the staircase. Now, let's go upstairs. Staircase is uh, wrapped in leather. Let's check out all the bedrooms. All right, everyone, before I come up to the landing of the second floor, check out these incredible views. I feel like I'm running out of adjectives. I mean, to me, these views are incredibly inspiring. Imagine going down to the first floor, looking at these views, or going up to the second floor. Just simply amazing. Now, we have the plaster walls also here. Beautiful chandelier right in the center. And here we are at the landing of the second floor. Now, on my left-hand side, we have the primary bedroom suite. On my right hand side, Beautiful. we have oh four spacious guest suites. So let's go this way. This one is the first bedroom, currently staged as a media room. We have the seating area on this side, TV position right here, yeah. paneled wood back walls, and are you seeing that detail, Mikey? The recess and speakers on each side? Come on, yeah, you know I uh, love my sleek uh, speaker designs. Damn. Well, there you go, you have one right here. We have these walls consoles and there's actually another detail I would like to point out. So I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention it on the first floor. We have this baseboard design. On the bottom, we have this metal trim. So we have the baseboard floating up. This is actually plaster. This is not a baseboard, although it looks like a tall baseboard, but I wanted to mention it because this is the first time we've seen a detail like this. Yeah, I had no idea. It's a unique one. Now we get a wet bar over here, a little fridge set up, glass shelves, and as we continue, I wanna open up these French doors, but before we do that, let's check out this full bathroom. Like I mentioned, this is one of the bedrooms, so we get the yeah. full marble walk-in showers, beautiful marble, marble mosaic showers. floors, with a vanity set up, a real gorgeous bathroom. Now, let's go. You ready, Mikey? It's kinda of scary. 79th floor, we have this Juliet balcony, yeah, and I mean, look at these. Though incredible views this is simply amazing yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and step over here a little bit oh that's scary <laughs> it's a little bit scary it's amazing uh, i wouldn't mind watching tv here looking at this view overall it's a great room and let's go back to the hallway and continue our tour so we have this secondary door here opening up to this side of the penthouse your elevator access on the 79th floor. So this is kind of like your secondary exterior door. And as we continue, we have these uh, wallpaper design. This is actually kind of like the kids' side of the penthouse. We get a secondary wet bar here with marble countertops, backsplash, fridge, microwave right here. And this door opens up the full bathroom. Same marble timeless designs are also here with the marble mosaic tiles. The then it is set up with marble countertops oh. and also marble walls continuing into this top setup right here. Nah, with chrome got, fixtures. If I stay, if I stay now, let's go. In a $40 million anything, I, my, I gotta have a jacuzzi tub in every bathroom. Jacuzzi with a stand-up shop. Back and right here, we kind of have like a Ooh, small boom. living room hangout space for the kids. I love all the built-ins. We have the TV set up, the, the built-in seating right here. Nice. This space is just really cute overall. Yeah, I really like it. And I really like how they have those windows into the next room. We'll see those in a second, I guess, though. Yeah, that's right. Actually, let's go in. Yeah. This is the first bedroom. We got these built-ins. And Ooh. Mikey, can we show the view? Steps Kids' up room to looks the straight into the One World Trade Center, which is amazing. Oh yeah, my I mean, the views. God. Any way you look in this apartment are just incredible. I, I know. I can't imagine having a room like this as a kid though. Man, what? And I mean, we have this loft space with this really cute bed set up on top. Yo. And of course, this is New York. Every bit of space counts. Even your stairs have little drawers. I don't know why people don't do that in every house. That makes I know, no right? Sense. Makes no sense. I mean, it's such a uh, wasted space. Yeah. Now, second bedroom on this side, which is right here. Again, very charming. 
We have the high ceilings, chandelier above, built-in closets, amazing views, what can I say? Yeah. Now, third bedroom. By the way, we also have beautiful hardwood floors here. Um, stack washer, dryer on this one. Okay. This one also has a built-in closet right here. Bed set up on this side, gets a full bathroom, which is right here. Same kind of finishes that we saw are also brought in here with the marble floors, marble shower sill with a timeless clay subway design and staggered pattern. Overall, we have three bedrooms on this side with kind of like their own hangout area designed for the kids. Now let's go back to the hallway and toward the primary bedroom. By the way, this is where we have the landing and this is where you can access to your elevator on the second floor. This door opens up to the primary bedroom suite. Charmin Ultrasoft. You got an elevator to go through the building and an elevator to get to the primary bedroom. 100 days. Yeah. It was given exquisite. First door in front of us opens up to the one of the two closets yes. for the Damn. primary bedroom. We get a bit of a built-in seating area here with an office setup. Ooh. Everything is nicely paneled in with these mirrored doors. Good sized closet with a chandelier above and even from your closet, amazing views continue. Yeah, I love the patina they use on that uh, mirror too. It's a unique touch and actually, Mikey, let's get a close up. They actually also have it here as well. Yeah, it looks really cool. Now, going in here, we have the first primary bathroom here. Mm. Marble floors, marble walls all the way to the ceilings. Then it is designed on this side with the exposed hinges like we saw at the kitchen cabinetry. Beautiful countertops with chrome fixtures. We have the medicine cabinet here. Also radiant heating in this bathroom, which is nice and cozy. On this side, we have the freestanding tub. Of course, we get the north and the east views. Also, we have this gorgeous chrome tub filler here as well. As we continue, water closet here, and this door opens up to the walk-in shower. Like, we have marble from shower. the floors all the way to the ceilings with these timeless chrome fixtures and the rain head. Yeah. Overall, gorgeous bathroom. Now, let's go back to the hallway. And right here, we have the pocket door opening up to the primary bedroom. Come on in. We have the bed situated on this side with the wood paneled back walls. All right, Mikey, let's focus towards I'm the window. I'm not too happy about how that's designed, but yeah. Windows, shades. Love these automatic shades. Yeah, and these are blackout as well in this room, right? What? Exactly. Damn. So just imagine at night going to the bed, looking at this view, or in the morning, in hitting the, morning, the button, cut that thing and on, make that thing bring go up the up. shades, and starting yes, your day. I would love that. Yeah, start I really day. like that. One thing I really like oh, about these yeah. shades, we rarely see it, but when they take the time, to actually put a little cavity for the shades to go into so no light can slip through right here. It's a true seal. Yeah, exactly. I agree, I agree. Attention to detail, right? And I mean, your views, that's East River, Brooklyn. We are looking down on the Woolworth building. It's, it's simply amazing. I'm, the whole day I feel like I kept talking about the views, but they're just amazing. All right, let's continue our tour. Nice. So, Dang. primary bedroom continues. We have the secondary built-in closet set up on this side. Before we cover this section, let's go in here. We have the second bathroom here. Again, marble finishes are also in here with the vanity set up, medicine cabinet, and this massive walk-in shower in here with the timeless chrome fixtures. Overall gorgeous bathroom. Lastly, we have the secondary closet right here with the drawer set up on this side, more built-ins here, and gym space for the primary bedroom. Overall, amazing That's primary small. bedroom suite and what a great penthouse. Now, why don't we go downstairs and meet Leonard Steinberg, who's the listing agent of this property, asking a few questions about the building and this amazing penthouse. All right, everyone. So we have Leonard here, who's the listing agent of this property. All right, you hold it down, Leonard, with your rich ass. Listen, um, I have to see if these get a copyright. If they don't, we're going to be reacting to these because, baby, it's the manifestation for me. I've seen some of y'all in the comments. It costs too much. Cost, cost, cost. Listen, if you want that type of lifestyle, you, you ain't crazy until you dreaming big. I mean, dream ridiculously big because it's a possibility for it to be able to happen to you. So, 
just a little bit of uh you know motivation you know what i'm saying but anyway i'm done with this video man i love y'all appreciate y'all we on to the next video